This is the prophetic locator word for the end of 2018 unto the body of Christ. Revelation chapter 2 verses 1 through 7. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampsticks. For I am among you, says the Lord. I am among my people. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you, you have forsaken the love you had at first. For you, says the Lord, do not love me like you used to. My body many times is bones out of joint because you are running your own program. You've gotten caught up in being mega churches. You've gotten caught up in being celebrity preachers. You've got, gotten caught up in being famous. You've gotten caught up in doing a bunch of church work and, and building a large ministry, but you are caught up in everything except loving me. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. Remember, says the Lord, how you felt when I first saved you. Remember how you felt when you first got filled with my precious Holy Spirit. Remember the devotion. Remember the time you spent with me. Spend time again in the word. Spend time in prayer with me. Spend time in praise with me. Love the house of God, not because of celebrity status, not because of fame, but because I'm there. For I have never called you to serve me because you have to. I want you to serve me because you want to. And I want you to serve me out of love. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. If you as my body and you as my church do not do what you do out of a love relationship with me, if you don't rekindle the fire and the passion of love and devotion to me, you will see more churches, more denominations folding up. You will see churches and denominations and leaders dying on the vine for I have not called you to do what you do for any other reason than for a love for me. For indeed, I commanded you that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. Therefore, I want your love. I want your devotion. I want your commitment. I want you to serve me because you love me and because you want to. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. And the Nicolaitans believe in sexual immorality between married couples. And I hate that, says the Lord. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Do not be surprised, my people, that you have to overcome. You will have to overcome many things in this life, but when you do, I will give you the right to eat from the tree of life. I'm talking to those who have ears to listen to me. For all of you, says the Lord, do not have ears nor desire to hear me, but I am the head of the church and I am the savior of the body. And I say to you right now through the mouths of my prophets to return to a love relationship. Return to love and devotion and commitment to me. Do what you do because you love me, because you love my word, because you love my name, because you love my spirit, because you love my presence. And if you overcome your challenges, if you are victorious over everything that would stop you from loving me, I will give you the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. And that starts right now, not when you die. I will give life to your life. I will open your eyes. I will heal your bones. I will heal your eyesight. I will heal your heart. I will heal your skin. I will heal your soul. 
I will give you life right now in a way that you can never have away from me when you learn how to love me, be devoted to me, be committed to me out of a desire to be with me where I am. For I long for my people to want me as I want them. I long for my people to long to be in my presence as I long to be in theirs. And as you learn how to love me, I will give you life that you can't find anywhere else. I will be to you the tree of life and give that to you right now, says the spirit of the living God.